Today I fucked up by investing $2,000 in a giant sperm killing machine. A few years ago my wife and I bought a house with a hot tub. We enjoyed it but after a while it developed significant issues and we found it hard to justify the expense of repairing it. We opted just to shut it down for a while. Well, COVID hit, and I figured that being in isolation with nothing much else to do is the best time to own a working hot tub. I tried to do the repair work myself, which took a lot of time and stress, and in the end I had to have a professional do it anyways. Process ended up costing almost $2,000. But, with no vacations to budget for, we figured it was a good use of our money. And it was. We've been loving using the hot tub this winter. We regularly go out there for family time with our kids who love being able to swim around a bit, and I regularly go out by myself at night to unwind. We have a boat today I fucked up a park behind our yard that makes it an amazing spot to relax. Because of COVID I've been having long Zoom calls with groups of friends, and realized I could do that from the comfort of my hot tub, which just amped up the enjoyment of both activities. Concurrent to all of this though, my wife and I have been trying, unsuccessfully, to have another baby. The giant FU is that we didn't think, at any point, of the fact that hot tubs kill sperm. Last night as we were discussing our failures in the bedroom, it finally occurred to us that the hot tub might be a problem. I was disappointed, thinking shoot I guess there will be a few days every month when I can't use it. No. We looked it up and found out that after being boiled, it takes sperm three months to respawn or whatever they have to do. So until I produce a winner, I am no longer allowed in my own hot tub that I slaved and splurged so much to repair. It took us two years to get pregnant with our previous child. Hopefully this one comes sooner. Too long didn't read, fixed my hot tub, boiled my future children. Edit, lots of doubts about my semen facts. This is the source we're using, second edit, I can see why people do these, we have been to fertility specialists, thank you. Also, it looks like the hot tub factor is about a 50% impact on fertility rates, meaning no this isn't reliable birth control. It takes sperm 3 months to respawn, bro. This was hilarious, thanks. Next week we're gonna read a today I fucked up where some dude read this post and tried to use a hot tub as birth control. Then when your wife gets pregnant, she has to stay out and you can have it all to yourself. You'll come out on top. 3 month ban for you, 9 month ban for her. Sounds like a hot tub is the birth control I never knew I needed. I am not a doctor. Why MMV? Today I fucked up by asking my husband about Pokemon. Okay, so this happened a few days ago, of course. My husband and I were in bed at night, and I was feeling pretty horny, so I definitely wanted to have sex. We were cuddling and talking and stuff, and in an attempt at being sexy, I asked him how his Pokemon campaign was going. So a bit of background, he's currently playing Heart Gold doing the News Lock Challenge. It's when you play through the game but when your Pokemon die, they're actually dead. Or something like that. He's been talking to me about it non-stop. Okay, so back to the story. I was trying to be sexy by asking him how his News Lock Challenge was going because I thought he'd think who, she cares about my Pokemon endeavors, that's so sexy. Anyway, he answered answered my question. For a long time. We did not have sex that night. Too long didn't read, today I fucked up by asking my husband about his Pokemon campaign so that he would have sex with me, but he didn't. Ha ha. Next time, try let's fuck. I challenge you to a duel. Next time ask him if he has enough PP left to harden. Up used charm. Husband used focus blast. Piss confused. Up used frustration. Currently doing a news lock run of Omega Ruby. Wishing him the best of luck. Also, ladies, please just tell us what you want. We don't understand subtext. Funny thing is, I read a today I fucked up the other day about a woman who had no idea another woman was hitting on her while she was into her a lot. Even women don't understand their own. 
I think the issue here was that you thought he'd think about anything other than his run once he starts talking about it, it seems like he's really invested and it's easy to lose track of things once you're invested in something. I'm sure he was happy you asked, a different kind of happy than you expected though. To add to that, he was probably excited that she was showing interest in something he enjoys, that she maybe hasn't shown much interest in before. It's like when someone you know knows that you like a particular band slash movie slash etc but they never show much interest in it. Then one day they suddenly do show interest for whatever reason, it's hard not to get excited about it. Finally this person sees what I see in this thing, and we can bond over our mutual admiration of it. Today I fucked up by thinking Netflix and chill was actually watching movies and relaxing. Obligatory this didn't happen today, but I didn't realize until now that I fucked up, so I don't know why. But it never occurred to me that saying that you were going to watch Netflix and chill had any other connotations other than I don't know watching a movie and cuddling under blankets. Over the past how many years, I've told my friends that I was just going to watch Netflix and chill if I was hanging out with a friend with no plans and they've been under the impression that I'm casually having sex with several different people at a time where I was just watching a movie and eating popcorn with a friend. I mean I'm very close to being a sex which is most likely why I didn't notice until now but also why I'm finding this ID even grosser. Too long didn't read, I've consistently told my friends that I was going to watch Netflix and chill with my friends when literally watching movies but they probably think I'm having an aggressive amount of sex. TBH I also thought that. It just sounds really innocent. I've been using Netflix and chill for years like this. How the hell am I supposed to know that it involves sex? It's true that Disney Plus and Thrust is a little clearer. Same goes for Hulu and Screw. I used to be a school teacher. To raise funds for a charity, I'd organized a school sleepover. Plan was lots of outside games and activities, followed by a movie in the hall before bed. I drafted a letter to parents explaining this and showed it to my colleague who burst out in hysterics when she read that I'd innocently used the phrase Netflix and chill to describe the evening's movie entertainment. After explaining the euphemism, I promptly changed the wording. I told my whole class I was going to do some Netflix and chill in 6th grade. Whole class thought you were a fucking legend no doubt. I had just started dating a girl in November 2019. I told her about how psyched I was for the Irishman finally coming out on Netflix and couldn't wait to see it. I told her she was welcome to come over and watch it with me if she wanted. We kept dating for a while and some months later she joked about how I wanted to Netflix and chill. But I clarified that's not what happened at all. I had basically told her, look, I'm going to watch the Irishman. If you want to be in the same room with me for 3.5 hours while I do that, you're more than welcome. She had no idea how serious I was about wanting to see that movie. She just thought I wanted to get into her pants. And of course I did want to get into her pants. I just wanted to watch The Irishman first. Priorities.